I live most of my life in front of my computer, but every so often myself and my family like to take a small amount of camping gear and spend some time sleeping somewhere in the Australian bush. But with so much of my professional life tied to the computer, it can be hard to shake the feeling of being tethered to it. What if one of my sites break? What if payments aren't working? What if customers can't access the product they purchased from me? The more my business needs me to be sitting at my desk, the less comfortable I feel going away for longer periods of time. At the same time, I don't want to head out into the bush fully kitted up with hardware, which is why I've been fascinated with the idea of being able to do everything I need on my phone. It's almost always on me, it's small, and is easy to keep charged even if we're in the middle of nowhere. At first I thought maybe I could get something kind of viable set up with Vim. Maybe something I could suffer through using if I really had to. But what I ended up with is a full-blown development environment that is capable of just about everything I use my desktop computer for. And it's actually pretty nice to use, even with no external keyboard. So this all started with me searching for how to get Vim running on my phone, and I quickly came across Termux. Termux is a terminal emulator for Android that sets up a Linux environment, and there isn't really anything complicated required to get it set up. I have a fresh out of the box Pixel 8 device and all I did was install the F-Droid application which allows you to install various open source software apps and then I installed Termux through that. You can also just install the Termux APK directly if you prefer. And then I had a terminal and Linux environment on my phone that I could start playing with. And as you can see I've already set up some stuff on here. The first order of business was setting up Vim which you can do with this command and then you have a nice way to edit code on your phone. But I'm not about to use plain Vim like some kind of caveman though, so I installed NeoVim with this command. This will also require a C compiler and Clang is compatible with Android, so you can install that too with this command. I won't show you this on screen since it just requires the normal lazy Vim setup steps, but you can see that I'm using the lazy Vim distro for NeoVim. Notice these extra keys above the standard software keyboard. These are added by Termux so that you have easy access to keys you might want to use in the terminal, like escape, tab, arrows, and so on. I edited my termux.properties file to configure these keys to be more Vim friendly. So I also have access to things like a colon and all different types of opening and closing brackets. Each key can have an extra key or macro that is accessed by swiping up on a key. But now I had all this editing power, but nothing to edit. So the next order of business was getting git set up and once again it all just worked smoothly. Just install git with this command, do the normal git setup stuff like configuring an ssh key and you're good to go. I was cloning my projects down to my phone in no time. And I figured if I can have git, why not lazy git too? That was also no problem. So at this point I can pull my projects down, I can edit them, but that's not all that useful if I can't actually run them. I thought this was where my journey would end and this would end up just being a fun little toy to play with. But I ended up attempting to install Node.js, which worked fine. In fact, I could even use the Angular CLI on my phone to create an entirely new Angular application. But I thought there was no way that I would be able to just serve this project over localhost and it would all just work through the mobile Chrome browser. But of course it did. If I open up localhost 4200 in Chrome, I can see my newly generated Angular application running. I can even open up a new terminal session so the project is still being served, edit some file, and I can see those changes live in the browser. I'm just using Termux sessions here to switch between terminal instances, and I have shortcuts configured so that I can just hit Control-1 and Control-2 to switch up and down between sessions, as well as Control-T to create a new session. This is working fine for me now, but I'm pretty sure I could even get Tmux running here if I wanted as well. Setting up Zish, Oh My Zish, and the beloved Power Level 10K theme was also easy. I'll link to a good resource for that in the description. Zoxide is also a must since it's a bit harder to type on the phone and it allows you to quickly navigate around your file system. It's absolutely wild to me how well this works and how actually viable it is for me to do useful work from my phone. I've even cloned the entire NX monorepo for all my websites and courses which I can serve and build locally and the even wilder thing is that it is just as fast as my computer. I tested building one of my larger sites that typically takes quite a while to build and uses a lot of memory. My iMac completed the build in 2 minutes and 21 seconds whilst my phone did it in 2 minutes and 42 seconds. 
It's not all smooth sailing. For example, some LSPs don't have pre-built binaries for Android, so I ran into trouble with some LSPs through Mason. Installing some packages required some extra figuring out, like the Netlify CLI that allows me to deploy my sites, for example. But it has all been far more smooth than I was expecting, and I've set up way more of my development environment than I thought I'd be able to. This is all new to me, but obviously I'm not the first person to go down this path. There seems to be a large and active community for Termux, and if you have any pro tips, please let me know. If you like this video, please consider a like or subscribe before you go, and I hope to see you back here again.